11.33 a.m. An 18-year-old with an AR-15 is in the school. He turns a corner, walks toward a classroom. A little boy peers down the hallway, and moments later, the rapid fire of bullets. By 11.36, police are there, guns drawn, bulletproof vests on. They run toward the shots. But within a minute, they come under fire. Grazed by bullets, they retreat. Here's a sped up time lapse of what's next. For 44 minutes, more officers, more equipment. At 1221, more than 10 of those officers, some with rifles and shields visible, fall into line. They approach the classroom, but still don't go in for 28 more minutes. Another sped up time lapse until 1250 p.m. Seventy-seven minutes after that shooter first walked into this hallway, police took him out. You know, it's difficult to watch. James Hawthorne is the chief of police for Cedar Hill ISD, a veteran officer. He says the surveillance clearly shows police not doing what they're trained to do. Watching this, hearing this, is gut-wrenching. That video needs to be released. But even the governor said Texans deserve to see what law enforcement itself calls a law enforcement failure. And it's dangerous, it's hazardous. Uh, there's a possibility that people could be injured, you could possibly lose your life, but we know that when we sign up to do this job. There is one moment we want to show you that some of the victim's family members say makes them particularly angry. At 1230, the gunman had been in that school almost an hour, and it would be another 20 minutes before he was shot and killed. One of the law enforcement officers stops and uses the hand sanitizer in the hallway. You see the image of that happening right there. Family members ask how someone had time to sanitize their hands, but not time to save their loved ones lives.